Good morning, everyone. I'm going to start off in with a joke for you all today. This one is called Wish You Were Here. A man left Wisconsin for a vacation to Florida. His wife was on a business trip in New York and planned to fly down to meet him the next day. When the man arrived in Florida, he emailed his wife to let her know he had arrived, but accidentally he sent it to the wrong email address. Instead of going to his wife, his email went to the inbox of a woman whose husband had just passed away. When the grieving widow opened her email, she screamed and fainted. Her son rushed into the room and found the message displayed on her computer screen. My darling wife, I just checked in. Everything is prepared for your arrival tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Your loving husband. P.S. Sure is hot down here. <laughs> All right. Um going to go through the uh, list of this week's activities. Um, today is Art Exchange Day in the library, immediately following coffee. Uh, bingo, be here and ready to play by 6.15 tonight. Tomorrow is the Spelling Bee at 2 p.m. On Thursday, there is an opportunity to come for a VTOS Lunch and Learn uh, there is a free lunch provided for those who sign up. The sign up is on the credenza, um, and it is at 12 noon in the clubhouse. Um, also, on uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Friday. Friday is the last day for TMAC sign up to sign up for the TMAC committee. Um, I will pull that book at the end of the day on Friday. Um, then we have the Michigan State Party here in the clubhouse at 4 p.m. Uh, Saturday is the 50th wedding anniversary celebration at 5 o'clock. And then on Sunday, uh, we have a special event show with Eric Kearns and uh, the Boone County Band. Um, a reminder that TMAC elections are next Monday after coffee uh, and the progressive recycling meeting. Um, we have over here uh, some people selling some 50-50 tickets for our um, drawing that we're going to be having at our uh, Mardi Gras party, which will be uh, on the 28th of February, and there was an error on some of the newsletters that you may have got. The time of the Mardi Gras party is from 4 to 7, just to uh, verify that. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Tanglewood Canada Day party will be held on Wednesday, February 22nd and the clubhouse from 3 to 6 p.m. Join your Canadian friends for good food, great entertainment, and wonderful prizes. Tickets are $10 and available today after coffee, or you could contact uh, Sandra Armitage at 903 Antelope Drive, and her phone number is 658-1930. All right, ladies luncheon, February 23rd at the watering hole. Arrive at 11, eat at 11.30, order off the menu and pay there. Sign up for that is on the credenza. Okay. Um, 
there's a sign-up sheet in the state's book for the Indiana Days, which will be March 3rd from 11 to do in the Activity Center. There's also a sign-up for the Illinois Get-Together, and that is on March 5th in the Activity Center from 1 to 3. Also on March 5th, there is the Minnesota Day Party immediately following the Illinois Party, and that's from 3.30 to 5.30. Please sign up in the state's book and bring a dish to share. The Wisconsin Annual Party will be on Wednesday, March 8th, and uh, they will be having an old-fashioned Wisconsin walleye fish fry. Uh, the time is from at 4.30, and it's going to be in the bash area. Um, the cost is $9, and uh, you will need to sign up and uh, buy your tickets prior to that date. A sign-up sheet is in the state's book, oh, uh, and then the tickets will be sold starting February 20th. Uh, and the entertainment for that will be Dennis and Wendy Yeager. Okay, let's see. New Jersey State Party, March 9th at the Hibachi Buffet, 1 p.m. There is a sign-up sheet in the state's book, and if you have any questions, you can call Anime Shave. With that, I am going to get off and let the other people speak, and I hope everyone has an absolutely Hello, wonderful Hello, Sue Dong with Legal Shield, and we made an announcement last week of the seminar going on tomorrow, tomorrow in the community room. It's about your Legal Shield or your identity theft, a very important seminar, and um, we would love to open it up and have the room overflowing. Um, it also will cover in questions with regarding your wills, your power attorney, living wills. Uh, worthwhile coming, and our guest speaker is going to be staying out in the outback. Uh, he's coming in today. He's a police detective who has seen firsthand the harm that has been done uh, through identity fraud. And we know it's rising. So I'd love to fill the room for him. And hopefully uh, by next year we can do the presentation in this room. Uh, see you at 12.30. There are refreshments being served. And I'd uh, like to have you all there. I do have a sheet if you want to sign up so I can follow up and give you a jogging Christy reminder Pine tonight. For the library, I come bearing gifts, or well, another word would be blind dates. They are going fast. These are some new ones. I saw that there were many other new ones in there today. So it only goes till the 28th. Morning. See you there. I've been here for years, so some of you know me. I'm Patrick Hotchkiss producer of the variety show this year. It'll be the 18th. It's a Saturday, a couple of one from now. Um, we've really put together some, we, we focused on getting funny stuff. We've got some great people. We even have a ventriloquist. Doug Tate, who used to do the magic, he's unbelievably funny. We've talked people into stand-up comedy. We've got just a lot of funny stuff, some great skits. You'll enjoy it. It's free. Um, and we're taking donations this year for Alzheimer's. My mother died of it. I'm very close with it. We talked to the local chapter. All the money's going to go right to them. We're all having memory problems, and we've all been through this, so please be generous with your donations. It'll be a great show. Mark it on your calendar. We had 400 people last year, and I think we're going to have at least five, so get here early. Thank you. Good morning, Tanglewood team. This is Lynn Arby from Trips and Travel. Um, the four trips that are coming up in February and March are all full. Tomorrow, if you are going on the shopping trip, the bus will begin loading at 7 a.m. And approximate return time is 7.15 p.m. The Tarpon Springs trip, Wednesday, 
February 22nd. The bus will begin loading at 6.50. 6.50, and the return time is in the uh, neighborhood of 7 p.m. Jerry Dewing advises travelers to bring a sweater in case it's cool on the water. And if you have any questions or concerns, please see Jerry Dewing at the travel table. The Strawberry Festival, Thursday, March 2nd. Luann Wikes will begin loading the bus at, she doesn't know for sure yet, she still needs to contact, make a couple contacts, so stay tuned for more information on that. Um, estimated return time is approximately 7 p.m. Wear comfortable shoes that day for walking around the venue. The St. John's River trip, Thursday, March 9th, Elaine Brown will begin loading the bus at 7 a.m. We will not be stopping for breakfast but um, I think there will be a treat for you on the bus. Estimated return time is 6.30. Again, we will be on the water, the St. Johns River, so you might want to bring a jacket for that. Our Key West trip in November, November 7th through 9th, is full. Um, if you have not yet paid your deposit, you can place your name on the waiting list in case someone needs to cancel. The Myrtle Beach trip in November, it well, be, begins in November, Sunday, November 26th, returns Saturday, December 2nd. Uh, we will be seeing, it's a seven day, six night trip, and we will be seeing uh, four Christmas shows in the Myrtle Beach area. We'll also be going to Charleston and Savannah. Um, we have a total of 26 rooms available to us, and 14 of those rooms um, I already have sign-ups for. Seven rooms have, the people have paid their deposit, and the seven more are tentative based on um, the deposit. The cost is $635, and the travel insurance is $59. If you have any questions, see me at the travel table, and we also have brochures there. We have two cruises for 2018, Panama Canal in January. We already have 42 people signed up, and Oasis of the Seas in April. See our travel cadenza for more information. Luann Wikes is planning a trip to Ireland in the fall of 2018. She is currently in the decision-making, research and decision-making process on that trip when she has exact dates and um, prices, she will contact the names that are on the list in the book back there. So be sure to sign up. Thank you for supporting our committee. Have a great Hi, day be quick. and a great week. Tomorrow, spelling bee, two o'clock. Right here in this room, the hometown America people are providing ice cream for the people, for the audience and the spellers. Uh, it's an oral spelling bee. Sign up. She is on the credenza. I've got a bunch of new people signed up, which is great. I've got some old people signed up, which is normal. And everybody get all the spellers get fabulously large big cookie, which as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to go bake. Um, first prize, $50 cash, then 30 20 and 10 2 o'clock tomorrow. Good morning. Artie Nichols for the Thank blood you. dry. Um, this coming Wednesday at um, 9 o'clock until 3, um, we're having the blood drive. And we need some blood because there's children that need uh, some blood. And so um, we could use some more people to sign up. I know I got a few up there. So if you'd be interested in to donate blood, we appreciate it. So from 9 to 3, Wednesday the 8th. Good morning. Thank I'm you. Pat Parks from the Shuffleboard Committee. Uh, we started our seasonal tournament with uh, other parks last Thursday, playing reflections at their park. Uh, we eked out a win. Uh, we won 11, and they won 9. So that's pretty good. Uh, our next uh, tournament is next week, Wednesday, and it will be here with Sebring Village. Uh, sign I'll take the sign-up sheet to the courts starting Friday. Thank you.
Good morning. I'm Penny Irelli. I'm from the outdoor, not the indoor, the outdoor decorating committee. And this is Gary Walker. And you already know him. He's also, he's the head of the outdoor committee. And he's going to let me go first because he knows I want to get this over with. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, the good news is the recipe book after three months of work is just almost ready to turn in to the uh, publisher. We have at least a minimum. We have over 400 recipes, so we're going to have to eliminate some. But you remember the recipe books that have like 10 or 12 appetizers? These are our appetizers. We have that many for desserts, that many for ma the main dishes. We have a ton of recipes. I have to tell you that in all the pasting and the typing and all this other stuff, I have, had res I have recipes for which I have lost names. I apologize. It's just, it was a lot of recipes. So if there are recipes in the book that says Jenny Generous, that means that's the one that I lost a name for. Uh, I want to tell you that you can order cookbooks over here at this table after the meeting. We think they're going to be $13 each. Uh, we're hoping that they won't go any more than that, and we're going to sell them 13 or two for 25 we would also like to, for, to invite you to join our committee because we are not part of TMAC, and we have a meeting today in the, in the room back there. So if you want to join our committee, we can certainly use workers because we need young people who can get up on the ladder because Frank can no longer get up on the ladder. Hometown America helps us with the, with the banners, and that's a big help, but we certainly could use some help. So come join us in the room back there, and and sign up for our committee, sign up for cookbooks over here, and here's Gary. Good morning. Good morning, Tanglewood friends. This is Gary Walker, as Penny just said, and thank you, Penny. I appreciate uh, everything that you with the, do with the committee. Um, we do have a couple of tables set up, actually three. Uh, one of them has some artwork on it um, from our Tanglewood friend, our good friend, Steve Wakeus, he came to us and said, you know, I really like what your committee does, and I'd like to help. And we said, well, how can you help, Steve? He said, I'd like to donate a piece of artwork for you to raffle off at the next Tanglewood Friends. And we said, man, that's, that's wonderful. And not only one, but he has given us two, so you have a choice. The tickets are eight for $5.00. And we are selling them this morning. We'll be selling them each Monday morning. And then, of course, we'll be sell selling them at our Tanglewood Friends on the 24th with Tom McGannon. And we're having lasagna. And I can tell you, 90% of the tickets have been sold. We will only sell a set amount, uh, limited availability, and we are up to 90%. So if you're thinking about coming, don't wait, because you may have to wait until March when we have our next one. Um, again, it is lasagna and bread. Uh, bring your own beverages. We will provide ice. We will have a 50-50, as we always do, and we will be raffling off uh, Steve's wonderful painting, uh, and we will also have door prizes, as we always do, and we appreciate that. Again, we will be uh, meeting this morning, uh, probably 15 to 20 minutes after coffee. It takes a few minutes to break the tables down, and some of our members uh, Jan and Jim and good gracious, a whole bunch of our members are part of the, uh, the Monday Morning Coffee Committee and they've kind of got to clean up after us and it takes them a little bit and that is certainly appreciated. Uh, I think that's all I've got. And thank you and hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. The HOA vest. I'm not handing them out right now because I run out. I've only got one size smalls left. The order's been put in. They should be here by next week. I'll be back up here handing them out. If you know anybody that needs to get their vest, I'd appreciate it if you let them know to come see me because we've got about 150 people that haven't picked them up yet. So just uh, I should be back next Monday. If not, it'd be because the order didn't come in. Good morning. Thank Luann you. Wikes with the Dance Committee. The March 11th tickets for Toe Jam are sold out. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Uh, I just want to tell everyone here we had a wonderful dance with Frankie the other night. We had a large crowd because I enticed him with buying Toe Jam tickets. But they were rewarded with a surprise. We, um, 
uh, not only had our 50-50, but we raffled, we gave away f four bouquets of red roses and um, champagne in that. So we've decided um, the second dance in March, there'll be a surprise. We're not quite sure what it is, but if you want to find out, it'll be really nice. I have good taste, so you have to come and see. Uh, I'd like Thank to repeat you. again that uh, next week uh, we'll need the uh, printed form of the announcements for those folks who would like to make some announcements. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't want to miss anybody, so please do that. So the purpose, again, is to uh, keep the program moving so that we can keep the elections on schedule. Uh, the elections are on the table in there. It tells you what time each committee will meet. And uh, we ask that you be there on time at the right place. And um, like I say, it's on the credenza. Okay, um, the TMAC uh, signups are on the credenza, as Billy mentioned. Uh, we ask you to complete that if you're going to participate as a, uh, a volunteer. And of course, we anticipate that all people want to volunteer. And uh, as I say, if you'd like to be a leader, we'd like to have you as a leader, so please continue, consider that. Uh, garage sale uh, tables are, I assume, still on sale. And uh, the garage sale is March 31st and April 1st. Uh, we just have a couple left. And uh, if you'd like to donate to the TMAC table, you've only got one or two items uh, you'd like to unload, uh, the TMAC table in the mirrored room would love to have your item. And uh, we'll put a price on it for you and move it and move it out of your garage into somebody else's garage. Uh, the tables this year are $7 for the uh, tables at the actual garage sale. Uh, special events, uh, t uh, Billy mentioned it in passing, on the 12th, that's next Sunday, uh, or say this Sunday, we'll have the Boone County Band, which is a country and country rock five-piece band. Uh, the guy called me the other day and he said they're bringing a special guest, uh, a fellow who's a terrific electric guitar player, and he's going to be here also. They're the number one requested group uh, of their type in Central Florida. And the other opening act will be Eric Kearns. He also has called me recently. He was at our showcase. He imitates about 40 different people, and I think the one that's most memorable is his imitation of Cher. Uh, it says $10 for the show. Tickets are on sale, of course, here, and at Billy's office, and of course, you have a season ticket. You got a leg up there. Okay, so come early at 6.15, and you can have dinner with us as well. 50th anniversary celebration is this Saturday. Uh, it's been building all year. We have 10 couples, the Albritons, the Cars, the Augsburgers, the Hales, the Jeters, the Leonardos, the Lowrys, the Flugs, the Pritz, the Purvins. Uh, all those people will be here to be uh, recognized for their 50th anniversary, and uh, it'll be a great night. Always is a great night. I found out officially, after somebody told me, that this is the 14th year. Uh, the program was begun by Leah Greco. Some of you may remember her and assisted by Barb Jones. It was later picked up by Russ Shaneyfeld and dumped on me. Okay, so the 50th anniversary then is Saturday. Now, one thing to mention on that, we're only selling 250 tickets. It's a sellout kind of an affair. And we were well over 200 when I was talking to them early in the morning. So uh, if you want your ticket, you have until tomorrow. It was supposed to be today, but Lois softened up and we're gonna do it until tomorrow in the afternoon after business hours on Tuesday. And after that, it's all done. Or if we sell 250 before that, it's all done. So we'll have a representative here after coffee, selling tickets, just $10 a piece. And of course, Billy will have the remainder on hand in her office. Okay, so this day in history. In 1926, I found this kind of interesting. In 1926, the NFL, National Football League, ruled that Players are ineligible to play in the pros until their class graduates. And you read about all these guys that are leaving college to play pro football. In 1932, dog sled racing was a part of the Olympics. 1973, for all you Canadian people, the construction of the CNN Tower began in Toronto. Born this day, if you're born this day, you're born the same as Aaron Burr, only he was born in 1756. 1919, Zaza Gabor. 1940, Tom Brokaw. And 1943, for all you 50s people, Fabian, Fabian Forte. This month, great month, a uh, grapefruit month. It's National Laugh Friendly Month. 
It's na National Return Your Shopping Cart to the Store Month. And this one I particularly like, it's Spunky Old Broads Month. <laughs> this week is Women's Heart Week. It's Dump Your Significant Jerk Week. It's Just Say No to PowerPoint Meet Week. And it's Love Makes the World Go Round, But Laughter Keeps Us From Getting Dizzy Week. This day is Canadian Maple Syrup Day. It's Lame Duck Day and it's Shower with a Friend Day. I look forward to that every year. I see that in the calendar. Uh, Nancy is here today. You notice Nancy and Al are also good speakers. <laughs> we also wonder who listens. Mm -hmm. Nancy. <laughs> well, at least he didn't introduce me as a spunky old broad but, uh, and I was expecting that. Um, but I do want to mention that since I wasn't here last uh, Monday, I did listen to um, the Monday Morning Coffee, and Tom mentioned about the show, and if you notice, he talked about the food, and he said hamburgers. Now, as I personally am the hot dog lady um, for the shows, but we also sell huge all-beef hot dogs, which I will be glad to hand you on a wonderful bun, and generally we have some sauerkraut. So you could get a hamburger or a cheeseburger, or you could get a hot dog from me. Now, moving right along, uh, we have sold seven houses um, since January 1st, which is pretty good, and um, we do have a couple. Um, that are sitting here today. The rest are committee members, and they are from the Outback, and they'll be here um, for about a month. So I'm going to have um, John and Peg introduce themselves. Okay, you got to stand up. You got to stand up. <laughs> All right, uh, we're John and Peg Briner. Uh, we normally reside in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, which is just a little, uh, about 23 miles west of Gettysburg, for those who are not familiar with Pennsylvania. Uh, we lived in Philadelphia for 30-some years. Uh, Peg was an educator, and I worked for the Postal Service in the, the technical end of it. And uh, we're very happy to be here. Uh, we're in Outback in a uh, 2008 Outlook, uh, class C, and we're on site 856. And you've got a wonderful little paradise here. It's very nice. It's the first time we've ever been here, and we're certainly enjoying ourselves and trying to participate in as many things as we have energy to do. <laughs> and hopefully they'll come back and visit us next year. Okay. Nancy, did you sell all your cups? Oh, no, geez, there they are. Nancy still has some cups for sale. She's running a special, two for 40. <laughs> okay, um, that's the, this kind of brings it all to an end. Don't forget those of you announcements to give them to Billy or myself for next week. Don't forget Progressive is going to be here to tell you what to do with your trash and what they're going to do for you. And uh, we'll have the elections right after. Plan to take part in activities. Make a new friend. Wave to your neighbor and have a great week.